All right, I think I got this going right. What I got here is a Ustream uh, live video going, trying this out for the first time to Ustream. Um, what's really cool about the Ustream is we got the chat in the background. Uh, you can just go to www.defcon-5.com slash NOC or we'll put a link in the, uh, actually you can just follow the link in our profile on YouTube to go to it and we'll also put a link in the video as well for that <clears throat> that way uh, hopefully every night we'll be able to do this about nine o'clock have a different topic each time uh, in fact I need to actually change the topic over in the Ustream channel, I'll do that real quick And what we're going to talk about, it actually works there. Uh, what we're going to talk about here is the actual features of Mac OS X. Uh, we didn't get too many questions uh, so far, but then again, we've only had the YouTube station going uh, pretty much a day, so no surprise, not too many questions yet. Uh, Got to get out there, you know. <clears throat> so uh, what we're going to do on this is. Uh, like I said, features of Mac OS X, and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll do one for features of Vista. That way you can kind of see some of the stuff Microsoft has uh, swiped uh, <coughs> from Apple. If they want to admit it or not, they, they swipe some stuff. It's, it's pretty pretty obvious in my opinion. So, as you can see, we're actually on a Macintosh. Uh, it's not the camera that we used last time that was sitting by itself that recorded and then I copied it over. This is a live stream. We're actually using the Cam Twist software to put the cool things in here like the date you see right there. Date and time. See that? Isn't that really, really nifty? Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and adjust Cam Twist to see the Mac OS X desktop, which if I if I do this right, everything should switch over nice and smooth. Um, apparently I didn't do it too well because the picture-in-picture -picture is not looking too smooth. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Well, I'm told to use... Why is it picture-in-preview desktop? Webcam. Apparently, there's a little bug there. We'll have to take care of that. Let me just do it picture in picture. Webcam. There we go. And then we we'll just put my ugly mug like here and scale it down just a little bit. There we go. Make sure let's do the bottom right. Because what really happens in the bottom right? <clears throat> okay. Alright, isn't that nifty? Isn't that really, really cool? Free software, only on the Mac OS. You gotta love it. Uh, let's save this too, real quick. Save setup. See if it does that right next time. Okay, minimize cam twist, and you can see a chat window over here on the right. You can even see the uh, cursor there. I'm not too sure. But let's go ahead and minimize this, and we'll leave the chat there up. Oh. So anyway, as I was saying, we're going to go over some of the features of Mac OS X, and then tomorrow I'll show you some of the features of Vista. Um, as you're probably wondering what's the big deal about Mac OS, um, it's, it's an Apple, it probably doesn't work with everything, it's got to be tons and tons of issues. That's not so true. 
Uh, it does work pretty darn good, actually. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. it actually, I kind of understated that. It works very damn good, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. Just a couple little, you know, adjustments because I still use Windows quite often. Um, but we are a Mac shop as well, so hey, <laughs> it's one of those things. <clears throat> Just getting used to sitting back down to using it. So first thing at all you're going to notice is if I kind of move this window around, you got you know typical things. You know your desktop, the equivalent of a desktop. It is called the desktop in Mac OS. Uh, you have your icons that sit on it. You got the the Finder. Well, it's not really the Finder. But it is the Finder. Um, I was thinking of a Start menu. Pretty much the equivalent of your Start menu is this here. You know that little uh, annoyance that you have sitting at the bottom of your Windows screen all the time. You might say over to the left or the right. This is pretty much the same thing as that. You have the blue apple. And from there, you can go into your preferences. You can, you know, change some settings for your dock. And then you're going, well, what about your programs? Your programs. Well, what you have is called the dock. That's kind of like, uh, you could say it's kind of like the programs list in Windows, but it's not as annoying. Um, in Windows, you go start window uh, programs. Let me show you this huge list of everything installed in your computer. Well. How often do you use all that stuff? I mean, come on, how many people open up their HP printing software on a daily basis? Very few. So, what you have in Mac OS X is called the dock. If I put my mouse over on the left here, I put mine on the left, I like it on the left and the bottom. It just seems faster and easier to go through. Um, you have program icons. Now, most programs you go through and install them, they're not going to put themselves over here by default. It's kind of a thing with Mac OS. It assumes that, you know, you want to configure your own system and not be, just have stuff shoved in your face. <clears throat> so you got, you know, various programs to put on here. You got the default finder. That's the equivalent to your Windows Explorer. The dashboard, which is kind of, uh, kind of like the Vista... Um, oh, well, actually, I don't think they have anything like this in Vista. Uh, they do have the gadgets in Vista, and here it's called the widgets, and the widgets show up under the dashboard, so it's, it's kind of like that, kind of. Uh, Safari's the default web browser to be kind of like your Internet Explorer, except it doesn't kill your system. Uh, I put Firefox on here, Thunderbird, iChat, Dreamweaver, iTunes. As you kind of see this really cool effect too, this is really a big thing with Apple is they make things look nice. Not only does it work good, it looks nice. I uh, notice how these things kind of just pop up like that, kind of get a little bit bigger as I mouse over them, so I don't have to try and click on this teeny tiny little icon there. It gets a little bit bigger as you mouse over it, so it's a little bit easier. So if I go all the way down here, I can just switch between the various programs, all that good stuff. So, it just shows up. I put my mouse over there to the left. Most people have it set to automatically be down there all the time. Uh, it usually shows up at the bottom, your dock. There's all of these little cool programs you can just put in there. Now, if you want to put a program on there, see this here? That's your Macintosh hard drive. That's basically the equivalent of opening up my computer, for lack of a better way of describing that on Windows and you have your applications folder here. Applications is like your program files folder on Windows. So you go in there and you have all your little programs listed in here. And notice how there's not really too many folders in here. It's mostly just you see the program icon. So does that mean you can just double click the icon and it opens up? Yeah, that's it. That is your program right there, the whole program. You drag, drop it, place it anywhere on your computer you want. There's really nothing. Most Mac OS programs, there's no installer. You pretty much just drag, drop it into your applications folder and it's installed.